Let's deal with the Dalmatians, these beautifully spotted dogs who, through the 101 Dalmatians movies, spent a little time in every dog lover's home for a while and, partly because of this, many people were also thinking about buying a Dalmatian puppy. If you go beyond the Walt Disney stereotypes and ask an average person interested in dogs about Dalmatians, you discover that there is usually very little real knowledge about this breed, and most of them come from Hollywood movies. Therefore, we have made a two-part film about the Dalmatians, the first part of which will be about their history, which, let's tell you in advance, is quite special and mysterious, and then, in the second part, we will deal with their character and behavior. Let us begin with where the Dalmatians came from and what they were used for in their history. Until the advent of modern genetic examinations, there were several parallel theories about the formation of these dogs and, of course, about where the name, Dalmatian, came from. For a long time, the most popular and well-known of these theories was the one that derived the name Dalmatian from the name of Dalmatia province of Croatia, where from the 18th century sources appeared in which the Dalmatians appeared. Sinologists also guessed that the creation of these dogs would have been shaped by Roma people living and wandering in these areas. Today, in the light of new research findings, this theory has become the least likely, and modern Sinology has gone beyond these ideas. Others, referring to the Dalmatians' hunting past, derived their name from the French word Damachian, which is fallow deer in English, while another team of experts, traced the name back to a 16th-century Serbian poet, Yuri Damotin, who mentioned these dogs several times. According to the most common theory, which is primarily held in Western Europe, the origin of the Dalmatians was traced back to Harlequin Great Dane and their genes, despite the fact that while there is a match in color between the two breeds, but on the white background there are no similarities in the forms of black spots and dots. In the world of beautiful theories and beliefs, DNA testing, which has become more widespread since the 1990s, proved decisive, leading to quite surprising results. As early as the 2000s, the International Institute for Human Genome Research conducted genetic comparisons of most dog breeds known today and published a map of the genetic kinship between dog breeds in graphs. Studies have revealed two very important things about Dalmatians. The first is that in addition to the fact that they are both dogs, there is no detectable genetic match between Harlequin Great Danes and Dalmatians. Second, which was and still is a real sensation, the Dalmatians do not show any genetic affinity with any of the so-called modern dog breeds known today, even with the retrievers among whom they have been officially classified. As one researcher remarked, Dalmatians are so different that it might be that they're really cats, in quotes of course. In the case of other dog breeds, DNA tests that clarify a lot of things, therefore, in the case of Dalmatians, have led not only to purification, but to even more confusion. So, where did the Dalmatians come from? This is a question that no one can answer accurately today. According to the researchers, this unique, extraordinary genome structure may indicate a history of several millennia. In connection with all this, the surviving depictions of the dogs of the Egyptian pharaoh Cheops from around 3700 BC are often mentioned, which clearly show spotted dogs similar to today's Dalmatians. Some ancient Greek depictions also show black and brown spotted hunting dogs on a white background. Some historians dealing with the past of dog breeds drew attention to other interesting sources. Some historic sources show that around 400 BC, Cretan hunting dogs were crossed with the so-called Bahaka or white antelope dogs. According to the sources, the offsprings were mainly used to chase and hunt deers, and it was also noted that these dogs cooperated very well with the horses. In later times, Dalmatian-like dogs began to appear in increasing numbers in England from the 17th century, where they began to be used more and more as coach companion dogs. Besides the beauty and spectacle of these dogs, there were several reasons for this, one of which was that this breed is extremely hardy and has an amazing, athlete-like running ability. In addition, perhaps the best of all known breeds has an almost interracial friendship with horses, according to many, they are almost instinctively attracted to them, or at least they are excellent at collaborating with them. On the other hand, while running, the head, back and tail of the Dalmatians describe a horizontal line, 
which is a speciality among dogs, so that the Dalmatians could run even under the wagons, between the wheels, and moreover, since they also had good guarding abilities, they were able to protect the owner and his valuables. From the 19th century, Dalmatians in the Anglo-Saxon world, but mainly in the United States of America, became a permanent accompaniment, almost a symbol of firefighters. Running in front of fire trucks towed with horses, they warned the locals of the arrival of the firefighter brigade, and they milled around the horses while the firemen were engaged in their dangerous work. At the end of this part, we should mention another event that dramatically changed the popularity of the Dalmatians and, of course, their breeding. In the mid-1980s, a revamped version of Walt Disney's 101 Dalmatians classic was released in theaters. As a result of the film, the popularity of the Dalmatians hit record levels, and tens and hundreds of thousands of viewers who did not know the breed at all and its character and activity, decided to buy Dalmatians solely on the basis of their appearance. With each new film episode, and later, after the television series, the demand for Dalmatians increased enormously, the number of breeders and puppy factories and, unfortunately, the number of Dalmatians cast in shelters, also increased dramatically. By the time the fashion wave subsided and settled down, another film appeared and the whole process began again. This not a positive process at all from the point of view of the Dalmatians, and since then, it is called the Dalmatian syndrome in the dog literature, and not much positive can be said about the phenomenon. About what dogs the Dalmatians are, who is the ideal owner for them, and who should not necessarily choose them, we will talk about in the next part. Thank you very much for your attention.